Resident Evil 2. Welcome back to Stone Ocean. I stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> like the from Star Fox. Fox. Good luck. Gabe, I, uh, I finished the Stone Ocean anime this week. Oh, yeah? I gotta say, the uh, the Made in Heaven version of the opening really got me. <laughs> made in Heaven. Did you see it? Uh, no, because I haven't watched Stone Ocean um, in like a decade. Jokes aside, though, uh, I just haven't yeah. been keeping up with it, really. Yeah? Because I already read it. And I'm usually like a fan of like watching adaptation too, but like I don't know this. Okay. I don't. The thing is, is because I didn't really like Stone Ocean. I'm gonna say it. Is I'm it? not a big fan of it. What What is it you don't like about it? I think the pacing's a little whack. Towards the end, it really cleans up. But I also just think I don't know. I think Jolene on the low. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Jolene's <laughs> fine. I like her. Um. That. But like, I do get what you're saying about the pacing. Like, I. Stone Ocean picks up, like, Stone Ocean is very slow until they get out of prison, when at that point, I think it really picks up, though. <laughs> like, we get, because then, then we start getting shit like Bohemian Rhapsody, and, um, yeah. Underworld is also a fun Well, there's stand. a big spider. Underworld. Um... And also, I, also, I like Sea Moon a lot, also. <laughs> Yeah, she would. That's my guy. Oh, that reminds me. Um, so the dub of Stone Ocean. So you know, they have to change names all the time, right? Yeah. When it and came pancake. to when it came to Poochie's last two stands, uh, they gave up. What do you mean? They just call them as they were. So no, no, they. So basically, they just changed the spelling, in a way that like it would still be pronounced the same. Mm. So, like, Sea Moon is now spelled S E E space Moon. Okay. <laughs> and Maiden Heaven is now Maiden Heaven. Okay. Which basically means that if you're watching the dub and you don't have subtitles turned on, they might as well not have changed them at all. <laughs> you know? Maiden Heaven is kind of a fire name. Yeah. Honestly, I, I kind of like that approach, too, though. Just, like, changing the spelling so that you can write around the fact that, like, you can write around the copyright issue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stretchy, stretchy. There you go. There's your stretch. I yep. care you're next. Uh, that's All me right, stretching Gabe, my jaw. Mm. That was the weakest stretch you've <laughs> ever given us. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Loki, thumbs down. Man, that thing just turned at the slowest speed possible. <laughs> it did. Well, it yeah, been. you're turning it with a freaking wheel like in a public park. Mm -hmm. On the little kid's playground, <laughs> you turn that squeaky wheel. That's what you're do you use it to turn this gigantic piece of metal. Yeah? Yeah. Leon's like putting all of his strength into this and it's going up at like fractions of inches. <laughs> well, maybe Leon should have spent more time at the gym. It's only his first day as a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a scrawny little boy. A wee lad. It's all, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's also his last day as a police officer. Well, yeah, I'd quit. Oh, oh, hey, there he is, the big gator. Oh, gator. It's Gator Thursday, guys. Yep. I'm so ready. Wow, this is an immense gator. Here is Lo Cocodrillo. It is. No. This is a gator of insanely large proportions. I don't, think, I don't think you understand. This is it. This is the interior crocodile alligator. Yeah, he is. He's And he doesn't drive. He is just the size of a Chevy moving through here. <laughs> Man, that fight sure was easy. Yep. Man, uh. There goes this upper half. Gators Daily is not gonna like yeah. this. <laughs> Gators <laughs> Daily. Gators Daily is crazy. It's great. <laughs> it's really. Great. <laughs> 
That's the sound of um, Sylvester Stallone as that alligator. Hey, I'm back. I killed the gator. <laughs> Not Leon running through garbage water with an open wound. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, the disinfectant process is going to be the worst. Oh my gosh. The disinfectant process at this point should just be one bullet to the head. No, it's okay. He gets out of it. <laughs> you know what's in that water. Leon yeah. dies of an infected wound 20 years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he lives with malaria for the rest of his life. <laughs> Doria. Doria! Doria. Man, you know, Ganondorf would have been done with this immediately if he had to deal with this. Exactly. He just, he just, uh, wizard foot. And then, yeah, that's it. The entire fight with fucking, you know, uh, Burke would just be him <laughs> just doing fucking Foxtrot Dash Dance mix-ups for side B, so he just gets a chain. Like, he does the first side B, and then he texts in place, and then he hits the second side B, and then he rolls out, but he see, reads it, so Ganon side B's him again. See, the thing about Birkin... Uh, the thing about Birkin is that everything he does is close range, so he can actually just go full Ocarina of Time Energy Tennis and probably just win. <laughs> yeah. Winner, winner, chicken, winner. <laughs> the expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible whoppers requests. Mm. The <laughs> chief has my sympathies, though. <laughs> After all, he's done for the town and he doesn't deserve this. I really drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, yeah, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. <laughs> Chief Irons came in late today, looking city, grimmer right? than his usual. He's <laughs> killing women. I tried women. to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, yep. but that guy will fuck. Enter him in the lab it. without Normal my help man, and Chief Irons behavior. This is what it means... William informed me that the police and media have begun their <laughs> investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there was a possibility. Oh, fuck. It'll the story will the still be off. Oh, fuck. Sorry, what'd you say, Carrie? It'll be as wide as the city. That's pretty wide. Yep. This city sure looks like a city. This city Anyone? sure is boring. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My what was boy. that music? This uh, true piece is what all true warriors strive I don't for. Know. I Guilty didn't. Gear Strive. Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it. I thought I heard music, like circus music. The the <laughs> the schizophrenia is starting to kick in. Stop! Oh no! <laughs> Don't say that. I'm turning 25 in seven days. Oh, so it begins. What does that have to do with schizophrenia? Is it the average age of onset? I'm gonna go in the danger zone. Yeah. Okay. It's it's supposed to be like more common in a certain age range or something. Mm -hmm. Or the sudden onset is more common. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, yeah. It's, uh, you're gonna be 25, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is gonna be 15 years old. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes, there goes his brain. Yep. Uh, and, uh... It's true, that came out on my 10th birthday. Yep. Also, holy shit, Brawl's 15?! <laughs> yes, sir. Still um, got one of the most fire-fucking-reveal trailers ever. You know... Yes, and it is aimed so but, badly. Uh, visually, in particular, it looks ugly. I, and gameplay wise, I replayed it like to almost like one hundred percent completion, like last year, and I just did not have fun playing it. Yeah. Okay. So last time I played Brawl, not... um, it was a um, it was a playthrough of Subspace, um, to uh, hype myself up for Ultimate coming out since it was like a week away and. Jesus exactly. Christ. Subspace is fun to watch the cutscenes in. It is not fun to play. <laughs> no, the enemy design is so bad. It's so lame. I wish they just had areas based on different games and then have enemies from those games. Also, I feel like Duh. I feel like I mean, yeah, there's that. 
I feel like from gameplay alone, though, it'd be a lot better if, like, the regular enemies didn't have health bars. Yeah. Yeah. I, they were just, like, I, still, I still think subspace is fine. I did a... I myself also, prior to Ultimate, me and a friend, we emulated and did so... two-player subspace. Um, and, I mean, bosses were a blast. Bosses were fun. Okay, the bosses are That's great. True. Bosses, yeah. yeah, the bosses are all good. Um, the... Um, I think Skyworld is a lot of fun, too. It's, like, the real first, like, you know... And also, just, like, the bosses... So, like, the problem with the main game is that, like, it's, like, Kirby oh, at half speed. Yeah. It's, yeah. like, if Kirby were just slow and monotonous. Um, but, like, the bosses, like, they're fun. They're, they're fun. And also, most of them are recognizable characters, which, uh adds to the satisfaction uh like of the fact that like you are fighting them and is what most of the game should have been more like like so like you know like the regular enemies you got like puppet dude and like weird fish eye thing but you know the bosses the you got fucking mouth man you got fucking ridley Raquaza, um porky you know, Gallium's pretty fucking cool yeah uh, oh yeah and, even the original uh, ones are pretty neat where he does the the cages that's yeah. fun. Um, they fucking brought Gallium back for Ultimate too, didn't they? They did, yeah. Um, but I will say the single worst part about that game is the Great Maze, where it just tells you to play the whole game all over again, but worse. Oh my! The Great Maze. God. Uh, yes. The Great Maze. Oh, it's just evil-hearted, is what it is. Yeah. So the Great Maze, it's like if they. So like I already mentioned how subspace is essentially. Um, just a Kirby game that, but like if it were really slow, yeah. The Great Maze is take that concept, but the Kirby game is Amazing Mirror. <laughs> Real. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like subspace, the the like the highlights are obviously like the boss fights and the cutscenes, and then just everything else I just don't like dealing with. And, yeah, again, the gra graphically speaking, I think the only characters who have aged well in that art style are Samus and Snake. Hmm. Damn right Samus has. Uh, I'm talking about Power Suit Samus, Gabe. Why not? My favorite item in the whole game. The shotgun parts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and watch this. I get free ammo for this. Is it? Well, Gage. Isn't just the, uh, isn't the shotgun, like, in the early Resident Evil games, just the fuck you machine? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yep. The thing about, what's interesting about using the shotgun in games like Left 4 Dead, for example, is that it's really powerful, but it takes a long time to reload. So that's kind of the handicap they get, but unlike here, where you just, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it takes forever to reload in Left yeah, 4 Dead. So. Now, and now that you, yeah, now that you have the um, the upgrade, you don't even have to pump it anymore. It's semi-automatic. No way. Yeah. There's what about what about reloading? What's reloading like? I think you just need to, have to get more ammo. Mm. Uh, you yeah, you reload in the menu for the best results. Hmm. Man, that is loud. <laughs> or as Gabe would say, loud. Loud. <laughs> is that what Gabe? Is that what Gabe would say? Ah, uh, yeah. I just assumed that he would. Loud. Uh, I, loud. Can you confirm? Can you confirm? Loud. Gabe? No, not I loud. 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 Okay. Loud. The recoiled pretty hard. Hard. <laughs> is that there what you go. said? <laughs> hard, pog me, pog you, recoiled. <laughs> okay, that works. I was thinking of when he says Wogue. Yeah, but that's just like Wogue. <laughs> that's yeah, not just yeah, one letter true. off from Woe. But like, adding DGE at the end of it is like a thing. I'm sorry, yeah. now Capcom has a like, um, a direct like event on March 9th? What the fuck is going on with March 9th this year? 
That's my birthday. Yeah, it is. It's your birthday. Uh, we get the new Mario Kart maps. Uh, we get a new trailer for the Mario movie. Um, we get Metroid Fusion on Switch. And apparently now we get news from Capcom, which is probably exclusively related to uh, Street Fighter 6 and Resident Evil 4 Six. remake. But still. Yeah, true. Street Fighter 6, though. Okay. Urge. So, I am Urge. very mixed on Street Fighter 6's <laughs> art direction, okay? Um, cause like the thing is like it okay it's less so much the art direction and more like the character models like it looks like they want the character models to be uh, like of the photorealistic variety, but then like the everything else like the lo the locales the effects and like the animations all look like the same kind of goofy shit that you'd expect in a standard Street Fighter game, and they just kind of clash with each other. You know what I'm saying, Gabe? Gabe? I think. Here's what I think. What do you think? I think. Gabe, thanks. Congratulations. I'm going to kill you. I learned how to do that yesterday. Um, the, the, <laughs> excuse me, guys. Ooh. Um, the, um, uh, shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. But I do agree with, like, the clashy art style. But the thing is, I don't actually think that's necessarily a problem. Okay, because I mean, I'm still she... gonna play the game, you know. Oh no, of course, I'm not saying that's a game preventing, game breaking, butt breaking, ass breaking issue. However, what I am saying is, I think because it's Street Fighter, I think it works on the low. Because as we know, you know, Street Fighter character outfits and designs are some of the most uh, bad shit J-pop styles you can make, or just have big dudes just being just big. Just being big dudes like Zangief, like he's just a big dude, just a big fucking guy wearing wrestling tights. And, they, right? they actually and you've got like... trunks rather, and you've got fucking you know Ryu and Ken. You know they're in their, you know they're in their geese, but not anymore. Ken lost the kids in the fucking divorce. And she Ryu's took the just... kids, Ryu. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Ryu's, Ryu's, and I mean you know Chun Li and Cam, you know looking looking thumbs up, and you know you got fucking it's like. What I'm what I'm trying to say. Here. I love how Cammy also has like, like the move from like the from like the anime movie. Yeah, they're like here, reward for the for you nostalgia kids. <laughs> um, the oh fuck, frontal lobe shut down. Anyway, uh, what I was just trying to get the point at is, um, you know, I think that. It works for Street Fighter because Street Fighter has, like, never really been about realism. You in see, the sense that, like, I'm not going to see somebody dressed as, you know, Yuri Han in real life. Okay, yes. You see, you're right, and I get that. Like, so, the main thing for me, the main thing for me, and the only reason, like, I feel like it clashes and the reason it bugs me, it's, like, it's just the character models for me. Mm, okay. It is exclusively the character models. Everything else looks like something I'd want to see out of a Street Fighter game, and it's only the character models that look jarring to me. Mm, okay, okay. I dig it. Yeah, I dig it. Um, yeah, that's about the most I can say out of that. Um, I'm wondering when we're going to get more information on that Mega Man game that entered development, like, right after Eleven came out. <laughs> Mega Man fighting game. It's the third Mega Man Power game. Mega, oh, oh, Those what's it, what, what's it called? So we got Power Man, Battle, Power, Power Fighters. Network. What's the third one? Power, Power Fighters, Power Battle, Power Combat, Power Combat, Power Melee, Power Melee, <laughs> Power Geyser. <laughs> <laughs> SNK breaks down Capcom's door. <laughs> <laughs> or to be more specific, they uh, burn Knuckle down their door. <laughs> yeah, they burn, burn Knuckle. They burn, burn Knuckle! <laughs> Here we go. It's elevator time. And that means it's Better scary. be an elevator than a smell elevator, am I right, fellas? Yeah. Bing bong. Fuck your life. I think this thing does smell. Look at it. Snake! Those guys are in the elevator with you! Wait, They're but super the... zooming on the face. Yeah. 
But but the word elevate means to go up or to move to a higher place, and you went down. So what would you call it descendivator? Descendivator. <laughs> up to. Yeah, but it's only called that when it's going up. Carrie, it's called a it's called a stationary when it's not moving. You are changing your elevation. This is true. Yeah. But Talk technically, so the word elevate means to go up. Elevator. Because it's re, it's changing your elevation. It's re elevating. Oh. oh, by the way, that's that's William Burkham now. That's what he looks like. That's ugly. For Why didn't he do that to himself? What does he gain from that? Oh yeah, and he's also the guy that has the eye on his arm. <laughs> he does nightmare from. Wait, is that the guy who injected himself? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, now he has uh, a second head, I guess, and the, fir the, the first one's kind of in his chest now, but... What a horrible existence. Yeah, gonorrhea's a bitch. Yeah. Damn right it is. You fuck Gave something like you know, that, you turn into I that. I would. I have gonorrhea. <laughs> yep, it sucks. <laughs> I can't have sex. I will deploy gonorrhea upon the other party. Deploy <laughs> Yep. Fuck. Well, there he goes. We did it. We beat the boss. Imagine if I did that with anything other than the Magnum. <laughs> For 16 minutes. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Ada P like dies on him. No. She looks okay. Oh, wait, no, she looks like she's having a seizure. I don't know why, but the way he just stops and looks around just looks so funny to me. Yeah, it's like he's stopping mid mid pose, like mid mid stride. It's like the way he did it, it's just like so like the like the vibe I get from that is like um it's like so like he um walks and then like he turns his head toward the director is like wait are we recording right now are we live are, are we rolling <laughs> <laughs> oh now i see the blood on her i didn't see it before that inside umbrella's secret lab i'll go find something to treat that wound so just rest here in the meantime but i'll only slow you down injuries so oh my god i told you it's my job to look after you be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time. I really enjoy being with you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I, do. I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone. But Leon, start start writing these down, homie, all right? We're leaving this place together. Wait here. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Isn't Leon just a funny guy? He's a yeah, funny he's guy. just he's a funny. He's a real. He's a really funny Leon. Funny Kennedy. What a guy. What a dude. What a what a what a what a, what a, what a, what a, what a dude. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What a dude. Excuse me, as my nose uh, destroys itself. Yep. Maybe you should fix your nose. How about I don't? <laughs> How about? <laughs> <laughs> you get me a PS piece of pizza, <laughs> or you can Nintendo 64 get about ever surviving. Oh shit, I have pizza in the fridge, I forgot. <laughs> I want pizza. Hey Lois, me... I want pizza! That's the vibe I got from your voice there. <laughs> I like Little Caesars because it says my favorite word twice. Pizza, pizza. Oof. So uh, games, Resident Evil 2 is basically just ah, uh, sweet man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. <laughs> yeah, my comprehension. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Next yeah. freaking sweet. Holy crap. Yeah, this is this is really taking some twisted turns I didn't expect. Next time on Smash Team Games, the turns get more twisted. Damn Whoa, right, hey, That's literally me when I twist a turn. <laughs> 